and I just want to make sure that audio and everything is coming out. Now I'm going to start the Your Chair. And then I've got to go and load the game. But I need to see whether... Okay, the stream is going, so that's good. Um, I'm going to sit up a bit more like I'm in a <laughs> um, kayak. And then I'm going to reset my standing position. I found in the your one the... Uh, and this, this is something that happens, which is a bit weird, but... I don't know if that's something you're aware of. Um, Stella, it's the... Um, if I use the reset standing position... Yeah. Sometimes I end up sideways in the boat. And then oh, I, really? I like in the kayak, and then I just, yeah. if I press B, it fixes it, so... Right, yeah, we've only used the controller bindings for that, but yep. I guess maybe the, the Steam one uh, functions a little differently. <sighs> I just, yeah, because I wanted, well, I wanted to reset the vertical position of where I am, because my head's up higher, so... Anyway, so... Right, yeah. um, I have uh, features for that in the menu, but... Um, yep. But I think maybe... Yeah, it might be nicer to be able to do it through Steam as well. Cool. Um, hi, everyone who's hopefully watching. Um, I've posted this in the Your VR Discord, so I think a lot of the guys there who are awake will probably be watching. So this is uh, Kayak VR Mirage, which in my mind is probably one of the best looking VR games. I've dialed back the graphics settings at the moment because I overclocked my GPU and it was crashing which I don't think is any fault of the game because it had never happened until after I did the overclocking. So, um, so what I'm going to do is just go in and what we're testing is uh, Stella and the team who make uh, Kayak VR have implemented the Your SDK. And this is just a first test. So my seat is falling back because the motors turn off until it's in the game. And my weight distribution's not perfect at the moment. It should come back down once the scene loads. Good core workout though. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, so I'll just press B to recenter. So you should see as the boat turns around, the simulator moves around. Um, what I find at the moment, which is probably tweaking settings, is that if I turn a lot, my registration of me versus the front of the boat is getting out of whack, as you can see by where I'm looking. And, oh, and that's bad because I end up whacking the simulator. But if I spin it back around, that's back okay. Again, this is a beta build, so we don't have to expect everything to be perfect at the moment. I am getting a subtle backwards and forwards rocking, which is good because there's waves and you would expect that. So, well, Actually, one of the things uh, one of my uh, fellow teammates asked for you to try was mm -hmm. to see if you could turn off the camera like moving because basically the simulator is moving is there a set you, is there a the setting for that is... yeah there is actually okay I, I wonder what that would do where's that setting um it should be an accessibility i believe okay i'm a little okay. bit behind on your stream so i can't look that's okay that's shoulder. okay ah uh, uh, yep turn hmd with kayak off yeah that will probably i wonder i wonder what that does all right now it's basically rotating twice, maybe. No, no, that's better. So now it, it's still not... Well, actually, it could just be me not... Well, <laughs> all right, see, so there you go. There's the... When I'm pressing B to recenter. I think that's because... Yeah, my yaw's sideways at the moment, so... 
Right, yeah, I have to admit, we don't have a yaw at the, at the office. Yeah. We've only used the, there the is... simulator so far. Yep. But, um... Okay, so there you go. I did get it back closer by spinning the yaw around. So it's probably something maybe Daniel will be able to help with how to deal with that, maybe. Okay, so... Yeah, I think... Um, I want to go into one of the other areas. I'm going to skip Antarctica. I wanted to show Norway because it's got the most waves and I think it gives the the best... Oops. Yeah, I think so too. Best demonstration. Yeah. I'll go for stormy weather. Engage the core to not fall backwards. <laughs> so wait, your your yaw is while it's loading, it's it's doing some. The motors basically stuff. disable while it's and then see as it. Oh, you're a bit delayed. So yeah, but as as yeah. it. Um, oh, there we go. I'm gotta get this. I don't know how to get this back. Where am I facing? That is forward. I can see it now. <laughs> yeah. Right, well, what I'll try I'll, is I'll just try that. reset the standing position and see if that does anything. And then B, it gets it a bit closer. But what you should hopefully be able to see if the leg position's in the right place is that I'm getting more sort of forward and back rocking with the waves now. I'm still not 100% facing the right direction. Um, oops. I wonder if that setting is potentially reset. No. What if I turn that back on temporarily? All right, so I think that might actually be something because if I turned it on, it made me back to the center properly. So that might be something code-wise for the recentering. I don't know. But. This is this is good stuff. Yeah, this is our first like actual like somebody actually sitting in a yard. Yeah. <laughs> so this is definitely helpful to know. Like we used the the simulator. Yep. Which is actually really helpful, but that, for example, doesn't show it's turning off, you know, like it just seems like it's going to a, yep. a default position when it's loading. Well, I'm, so I'm still not 100% facing the right direction. I think this will be a lot better in the Yaw 2 as well, because the Yaw 2 has an inbuilt um, motion compensation tracker. And I imagine that using the SDK would make use of that as well. So. Um, so c can you, like, how did you, f how did the team find implementing the your SDK? Was it very difficult or? I think overall it was definitely the most, like, uh, because there's not that much documentation out there, you know, it's mm. also not the hardest thing in the world to do, but mm -hmm. it was nice that Yaw like really streamlined the, the process by just providing a plugin for Unreal for yep. us in this case, and also the simulator so that even without the actual hardware, we could still see what was going on. Mm -hmm. For example, one of the things we, we noticed in the simulator was that if you were uh, switching levels, then you would um, you would reset to a different like position. So it would move to, to a new forward facing position. You know, like, so those were small things that we could already like suss out yeah. basically just with the, the simulator. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, like that was definitely uh, a nice little bit of, um, yeah, like a, a good starting point for us. Yep. Um, and I know they've got um, like SDK implementations for Unity and Unreal, so that should cover off most VR games, I would expect. Yeah, I think all, yeah almost, almost all VR games, I would say, are, are made yep. in, in those two engines, so I think it's definitely helpful that they have uh, have that. Proper implementation. Yep. And and do you think like was there any negatives you thought about it? Like if there was anything um, that you could change or Yeah, I think I think one of the the downsides is that I feel like y'all yeah, could maybe I don't know exactly how their SDK works, but I feel like there could be an opportunity here to maybe make it like the default for all developers to use, even if they're also developing for other motion sims. So know, this, is, like, this is a uh, lack of standards problem and an opportunity for your to 
try and be a standard setter, I guess. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Like, if everybody's like, you should use the yaw and DK for mm -hmm. your motion sim implementation, I feel like there's an opportunity there. But again, like, I'm not super well versed on how these things work, so maybe that's impossible from some point Possibly, of view. But yeah. that was definitely one of the things that I was I was hopeful about mm -hmm. at first with the SDKs that it would work for for all tools and all yep. motion platforms as long as they maybe do a custom patch or something like that. But it seems like that is uh, is not the case. So mm. if we want to um, also have support for other motion sims, we have to have another solution and then a way to switch between the SDK maybe and mm. the regular telemetry and stuff and then it gets a little bit more complicated so yep. that would be a, a bummer obviously yeah um and oh so like it does feel good just sitting here and rocking in the waves so that's pretty cool I <laughs> yeah. that, that was the thing I was, I'm most, most interested in, you know, is to see how it actually functions. Because on the simulator, you can see it looks really smooth, and I was pretty excited after seeing that. So yeah. So about the, uh, I'm in a Yaw one, and the way it works, I think the Yaw two will be smoother. At least the reports from people who have had a Yaw one, who have tried the Yaw two, have said that it feels smoother. So. Right. And it, like I, I only have the motors set quite low at the moment as well. So um, if I, uh, yeah. So my power is only set to fifty-five of a hundred on a. I've got a Yaw Pro, and I turned the Yaw limit off, which did seem to help with the orientation of the boat in comparison to where I was facing. Uh, but okay. I don't have a lot of other settings here to, and this is one of the first times that I've done it. I mean, this is the first app game that I've played that had native your support. Uh, I do believe there is another one in Steam, but um, and there's a couple on the Quest as well. Uh, so what I normally would be doing is going in here. So it's really good as an end user to be able to oh, I'm not going to be able to reach that with the way my weight's distributed so I have a tracker at the back here a Vive Puck and normally I would use oh, OpenVR motion compensation to um, enable that and then that would manage the keeping everything in the right place as I move around but the, I must say that your implementation here just using native your stuff is pretty good so apart from that the boat not heading directly forward all the time for some reason so um but i'm more than happy to help test and try and figure that out and hopefully daniel can give some insight as to what what's causing that um yeah that would be, that would be yep to, to figure out for sure and um, i think the game is, is a really good fit for for yeah, well, there's been a lot of requests platform. in the your um, Discord, people asking if it's going to have support. So I'm glad that I was able to convince the team or you and the team there that <laughs> it's worth it. Uh, I guess yeah. one more thing before we sign off: uh, Is there any chance of getting a license to give away once the your supports properly baked? Yeah, I mean, once we have proper support, in, it would be great to. To, to give away one to the Yaw community or awesome, whoever. sure. So um, what I'll what I'll do is in the video comments I'll have a link to the, the Kayak VR Discord, uh, the Yaw VR Discord, um, my Discord, where I'll probably give the license away there somehow. But it'll be from I'll do an updated video once the support's baked and I also have a link to the your SDK download page as well so for any other developers um, that are looking to implement and if you want to get put in touch with the your team feel free to message me on my discord or the your VR discord uh, my nickname there is it's VRK uh, as in it's VR okay um, and I can facilitate that for you so thanks again, cool. Stella, and um, yeah, it's awesome. So I look forward to having it fully baked.
That'd be really good. I me think, too, me I too. I think you'll get yeah. a bunch of sales you from your people. For, it out. No, yeah, no problem. Thanks. All right, so I'm going to stop the stream now. Thank you again. Cheers. No problem.